Over Black Friday, Lee Four Cosmetics released something like 45 new products. Naturally, I wanted them all, couldn't afford them all, so I picked like the ones that I wanted the most. So it's finally arrived. This is the order that I purchased during Black Friday, and I'm going to unbox it with you guys. It's a lot of single shadows, so I'm going to create the single shadow palette and then swatch it, and then we'll create a look using the palette that I purchased. So yeah. That's, that's all of it. I also got some of the brushes, but you'll see when I unbox it. All right, hopefully that sounds like a good old fashioned makeup time. If it does, let's go ahead and do the YouTube -y things. Go ahead and give this video a thumbs up, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and let's get into it. So as mentioned, they released like 45 new products. So I got some of them. <laughs> Let me unbox this. This is my little haul that I collected during the Black Friday sale. I picked up one of the empty magnetic palettes for the new singles that I picked up. I picked up three of their new vegan makeup brushes. These are brand new. And then I picked up their new shades. I think there's 12 here, if I'm not mistaken. It looks like there's more though, but I feel like there's 12. Could be wrong. They did release two new palettes on Black Friday. So I'll insert a picture right here of those two new palettes. And so essentially the singles that I have picked up are a heap of shades across those two palettes because there were some shades from, I think it was their two up palette and they were like neon mattes and I really didn't want any neon mattes. I wouldn't use them. And so they also had all of the shades in those two palettes as singles. So I picked out all the shades that I wanted from them too and created my own, which is one of the best things about Lethal Cosmetics, right? Is you can create your own palettes and then have a palette where you want every single shade. And, and you know, sometimes you get a palette, there's always one or two shades that you'll never use, you know? So we're going to unbox all of the shadows and put them together. If you've seen my kind of like Lethal videos before, or like any of my single shadow videos before, you know, you'll know what I'm talking about. I'll pop a playlist down below of like my single shadow collection and stuff or what videos I've done so far. I want to start with the makeup brushes first though. So let's do that. I got three. I actually wanted to pick them all up. They all look very intriguing to me. So I thought I would start with three and then if I like them, go from there. So this one I'm the most excited about. This is the foundation brush and it just looks really an intriguing shape to me. Now it is completely vegan. Yeah, synthetic hair. The thing that I liked about this is it has like, I don't know if you can tell on, yeah, there you go. So it has like a point and then it's like slanted. So I just felt like that would be quite intriguing. It does feel very, very soft. And I really like the handle, it's very chic. So I can't speak to the quality yet because I haven't used it, but it feels very lovely. This one is the packing brush. I just, you can never have too many packing brushes for metallics. And they made it sound like so good. And again, the handle and everything is so luxe and beautiful. It's very thin and it's kind of got like a little bit of that wispiness at the top. So I think this will be really beautiful, especially for smaller eyes. And then this one is an angled shading brush, which I don't know why I picked this up. I don't think I meant to. I think I meant to pick up something else. But I'm happy to have it because packing on shadows in the outer corner with this kind of a brush would be really good. And actually, this feels incredibly, incredibly soft. And again, they're just really beautiful. Like, look how chic they are. So, yeah, I'm going to try these three out. And if I like them, I probably will pick up more, if I'm honest. Now we need to unbox all of these. I like to sit a paper towel here <laughs> while I unbox them so that it they have something to rest on. So I'm just gonna speed through me. If you've seen this before, you know, I just speed through me unboxing them. These are all the single shadows unboxed. It might not actually be a cohesive palette because I didn't actually design this to be a cohesive palette, I actually designed this to just pick up the new shades that they released that I wanted. So if it's not cohesive, I'm not stressed about it because I think I forgot to mention this, but I actually already own three Lethal Cosmetics palettes that I designed myself and recently um, like Lethal allowed me to design one myself and they sent it to me in PR and stuff, which was awesome. This isn't PR. I bought this all with my own money and they did not ask me to film this or anything. It's all my own opinion. But um, I have a heap of their shadows already that I could make a cohesive color story if I want to. So this is just strictly all the new shadows that I wanted, just in case you were wondering like, what was your thought process here? There was none, I just wanted the shadows. Now let's pop them in their little Z palette.
These are all the new shadows. Let's go ahead and swatch these out and also give you the shade names and all that kind of stuff. I'll just put the shade names on the screen and I'm just going to speed through swatching these all out, okay? That's like the palette and the shades swatched out individually. Um, they're amazing. And the level of creamy butteriness <laughs> that these feel, these metallics feel no joke, like proper cream shadows. That's exactly how they feel, like cream shadows. And these mattes just feel so buttery. This formula is next level again already. I can't wait to put this on my lids. So now I'm just gonna speed through swatching out each of the individual shades as well for you guys. I'll put the shade names on the screen and then we'll create a look together. So let's do that. let's get into playing with these eyeshadows I'm so excited these honestly these metallics feel oh, they feel insanely beautiful so the first shade I'm gonna go into is this one right here and I'm gonna take this on a refer number 27 I will try and put the shade names on the screen so that you know exactly which shade I'm using by the way I've already primed with my rare beauty eye primer I am working today and I do have a lot of meetings but I'm just too excited to really play with these shadows so i'm probably just going to be full glam it's working from home so hopefully the zoom kind of hides how glam i'm not that anyone is literally going to care so they'll just know that teens was playing with makeup this morning <laughs> so that is blending really quite beautifully these are all new shades that they've released i'm pretty certain as well by the way except for there were some shades that they released that were from their two up palette I think that was the name of it, that they brought out into those other ones, uh, into those two palettes that they kind of already had pre, pre-picked and pre-packaged. Also, I picked up three of their brushes. So this one is the uh, 205 angled shading brush. So it's kind of like an angle brush. I don't think I meant to pick this up, but here we are. It is good for packing onto the, oh yeah. It's real, it's honestly very soft, like one of the softest brushes I've nearly come across, I think. That's actually quite lovely. We'll keep testing those though. It, they're completely vegan as well. I think I've already said this, but they're completely vegan if that's what you are after. This is darker than I normally would use for an initial transition shade, but I didn't pick up a lighter one and I didn't want to dip into another palette just yet. So um, I figured I would just make it work and it's it's worked really quite well, to be honest with you. I'm going to take my Pat McGrath Labs Intensifier Stick and I'm just going to lay this down three quarters of the lid. I don't even necessarily think you would probably need to use intensifiers. I mean, you don't need to. I just find with my hooded eyes, it really makes the eyeshadow not crease and last a lot longer for me. I picked up the 225 packing brush from them, which is like really quite a smaller type brush. And I, I was really quite interested to see how this was going to perform. So I'm gonna go into this shadow because when I swatched it, it just looked insanely mesmerizing, if I'm honest. All of them did, to be fair. So I'm just gonna press this onto the lid. Oh, that shade. Good lord. Look at that. 
Oh, the dimension in that shade is stunning. Now you could make this really, really wearable by just using a lighter transition shade if you wish to. Up to you. Wow, that is pretty incredible. I'm just leaving that inner corner slightly free there. Oh my Lord. Is the dimension picking up on camera? I hope so, because wow, that's, that's a cool shade. This brush is really good as well, by the way. It's packing on really lovely. I really like it. I've just wiped the excess shadow off that brush that I just used um, on my Sigma Switch. And now I'm gonna dip into this one because this looked like VR Fire Opal a bit. I'm really, I'm really intrigued. And I'm gonna pop that, oh, stop. Look at that, stop it. I made the weirdest noise then, but damn. Now you are going to get fallout with these shadows. You just are. They're highly pigmented and they've got a little bit of glitter. So just keep that in mind. That's what the intensifiers is going to help with too. Oh my goodness. Wowie. Oh, I'm obsessed. Oh, I'm obsessed. And just like that, the eyeshadow is completely done for now. I'm going to go do the speed through my base makeup like we normally do. And then we'll come and, you know, finish everything off. So let's do it. Face makeup is on. Everything that I use today, by the way, is linked in the description box down below for you guys. I'm just going to take a little pencil brush and we're just going to go into the matte shade that I ran through the crease. And I will just pop that on underneath here. For inner corner, I might actually just go into a little touch of the yellow. Just for something a little bit different. Just a teensy little pop. Oh yeah, that's Awesome. Look how neon that looks. Oh yeah. Um, I think I forgot to say that I put my same mascara on and I put the Victoria Beckham eye brightener pencil in my lower waterline, but I didn't put anything on my top lashes or anything for eyeliner. I'm just going to put some mascara on my lower lashes and then we'll do lips. So I'm not sure if I filmed where I filmed. I thought I was filming and I, I don't think I was. For lips, I used the Pat McGrath Labs Contour Lip Liner the Hermes Beige Kalahari Lipstick and the Makeup by Mario nude, Golden Nude Lip Gloss. All of this will be linked down below for you guys. So now I'm going to go do my hair and zoom out and show you guys the finished look. I'm so sorry. Okay, let's do it. And this is the finished makeup look. We are just rocking a ponytail today because I, I just can't be bothered. Uh, I am obsessed. You guys, I'm obsessed with this look. Lethal Cosmetics continues to just absolutely blow me out of the water with the quality of their eyeshadow and the uniqueness of their shades. I am, this is one of my favorite looks I've done in a long time. I, oh, oh, I love this. I, I truly adore this. I feel like this is super wearable too. Like I honestly would like go to work in the office right now wearing this, but that's up to you. Everyone needs to feel comfortable themselves. Also the brushes, I really liked. I didn't like this as a foundation brush, but that's because I don't actually like using brushes for foundation. I really like using my sponge, but I use this for like concealer and cream, like bronzer and stuff. And I really, really like it. It's so soft and like bendy. And I loved packing on the shadow with this. It did it perfectly. And same with this. I actually really like these. I'm 
I'm actually probably going to go on and order more today. Truly, I, I think I am because I, I really, really like them. So that is all my thoughts. I think that if you are interested in any of the new Lethal Cosmetics products or even just any of their products in general, I highly recommend them, truly. I think they're top, top quality. And uh, I'll link any other videos I have with Lethal, with Lethal down below for you guys so you can check them out as well. And let me know your thoughts in the comments. Did you pick up anything in their Black Friday sale as well? Let me know. And if you are watching till this point, you're an absolute legend. Thank you so, so much. If you haven't already, pretty please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe. It helps my channel so much and I truly appreciate it. And I hope that you have the most amazing day wherever you are in the world. And I will see you next time. Bye.